This video is not clickbait. I'll be showing you in real time my workflow of how I shoot real estate photo and video at the same time. Watch until the end for the actual photo and video result I delivered to this client. You are not going to believe this. All right, guys, so this is going to be a real time test to see how fast I can shoot photo and video on this house that's under 1500 square foot. So let's go ahead and start the clock and let's get into it. All right. So what I'm doing here, I'm handheld. I'm actually going brackets on this gimbal. And then I switch over to video mode. I actually forgot to turn my gimbal on. So slowing it down a little bit here. <laughs> like I said, this is a real world test. My settings aren't even correct yet. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and dial that in real quick too. Clock's still running though. All right, we should be good to go now. Like I said, then I switch over to video mode and I do my establishing shots. Okay. And what I do from here is I click it back over into photo mode and switch back and forth. So that's how I'm gonna be doing all this. Just switch it back and forth here. <clears throat> Going ahead and getting just two exterior video clips here in the front of this house. Switch back to photo. There's a dog barking over there. All right. I like to try to get three angles of the front of the house standard if I can. <laughs> Go ahead and move to the back. Now, we are not doing drone on this one. So, that's gonna help speed that up just a little bit. Oh man, stare out there, Rob. This is muddy as muddy can be right here. That's okay. Go ahead and step over this way out of the shot, Rob. All right. <laughs> Gotta wait on Rob, that shouldn't count, but we'll go ahead and count it, it's fine. All right, cool. Switch back over to video. Oh, <laughs> I don't like that clip actually. I wasn't in the right setting on my gimbal, wasn't in the follow mode. So I'm gonna redo that, but it's okay. Go ahead and get my photo while I'm over here. I'm able to do that just by staying very still and raising my ISO up to 6400 to get my brackets. I have a whole nother video on shooting handheld. All right. I like that angle better anyway. So now let's go inside and do the inside part. These dogs are not happy that I'm here doing this today. <laughs> now, I did go ahead and unlock the door so count that cheating if you want to. I just wanted to make sure that the door code was actually gonna work, <clears throat> but nothing else is done. All the lights are off. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to turn all the lights on here. My cameraman here, Rob, is not helping me in any way, shape or form. I'm trying to find all the lights. So what I do is just come in here and flip on all the lights first. Make sure these are all on. Shut this basement door. Light, light, light. 
toilet seat. Let's see. All right. And I think we're all on. So now what I normally do inside, I'm gonna go ahead and just do all of my video at the same time and then run back through and do my photo. That way I don't have to switch back and forth as much. I just switch back and forth between wide shots and details, get my framing up. angles here on video just doing little side-to-side -side pans push-ins I'm gonna go ahead and go this way Rob oh, it's dark in there here's my ISO grab a little detail shot off of this Vase, it looks cool. They had this home professionally staged, so I normally don't shoot a lot of staging material just because it's not coming with the house, but it does make for a pretty aesthetic video. Let's see here. Changing my exposure as needed. That is manual. This house is all over the place. So you just have to change it on the fly. Trying to lock my focus here on this faucet to get the detail shot there. To the bedrooms. I'm gonna go manual focus just so it doesn't hunt for focus while I do this. Okay. Get a little detail shot here of the bed. Looks good. Actually, I didn't like that. <laughs> I missed focus a little with the manual focus. There we go. Now it should be good. All right, cool. Into the bathroom. This door is not staying open. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Last bedroom. All right, so now I'm done with video. I'm gonna switch back over to photo. Sorry for the echo in here. Audio is probably bad, but it is what it is. Stay there, Rob, so I can get this other angle over here. I usually take two angles of bedrooms. Okay. Come back through, do the bathroom. I'm bracing myself on walls. That way I'm a little bit more sturdy since I'm doing this handheld. Well, not really handheld where I'm on a gimbal, but it's essentially handheld. I'm not using a tripod. 
Okay, let's see. All right. Like I said, I usually do two angles of each bedroom. That way they get a good look at what that room has to offer. All right. Moving on to the kitchen. I usually do a couple detail shots. I'm zooming in here to the faucet because it looks nice. <clears throat> I'm gonna go to this end here. I usually shoot from the corners. Just making sure I have nice wide shots showing the whole room. Taking multiple angles of this kitchen. And maybe a detail of this little, I don't know if this is a breakfast nook or whatever this is. Okay, I'm gonna shoot this dining room. Um, let's see, put myself in the corner. Ooh, it's dark in here, so I really gotta brace myself. A little slower of a shutter speed there, but still manageable. I'm gonna shut this door, because it's in the side of my frame. Got the living room. I actually can bring my ISO down in here where it's so bright. So I'm at ISO 1600 now for these. Like I said, shooting from the corners. I shoot from the corners first and then I move into the detail shots. All right, cool. I'm just gonna do a couple detail shots here of this fireplace because it looks really good. Rob, you can go ahead and have the timer set out. That way, when I tell you to, see how long it took me to do all this. Make sure my verticals are correct. Fire it off and we are done, time. 12 minutes and nine seconds. All right, so it was a little over 12 minutes until I remembered that I didn't shoot this back porch, but we're gonna do it now. We're gonna start the clock just for fun, just to see how long it's gonna take. It's probably only gonna take less than a minute, but just to be fair here, that's what we're gonna do. So go ahead and start the clock, Rob. All right, we're rolling. So usually I do two angles photo here. Switch back into bracket mode. I'll switch over to video. <laughs> My gimbal's not even on. So that's gonna give it a second. All right. Take my angle here of how I would do this on video. Just a nice little push in with a pan. All right, now I'm gonna go back over to this side. Hit my photo from this angle. and do my video from this angle. All right, and time. Let's see how long it took. Yeah, one minute and two seconds. So still under 15 minutes. It was right around 13 minutes total to do this 1500 square foot house photo and video. So this is really how I shoot photo and video every day and I've been doing it for over a year now. Now, this is just a disclaimer. This is how I would do it if the house was empty and I had to do it quick. When the real estate agent or the homeowner is there, I never wanna seem like I'm rushing through the house, so I do end up slowing down a little bit just to keep from that happening. I never wanna make the agent feel like they're not getting the attention, the detail that they deserve by just trying to rush through it. But I do still use this technique of just my camera on a gimbal. I do handheld brackets and then I switch over to video mode and do the video that way. This technique may not be for everybody because if you feel like if you did this, you would be losing quality, 
then obviously you don't need to do it. But as I've practiced this, I've gotten really good at it. And honestly, the quality stays on brand with what my clients expect. Now check out the actual video that I delivered to the client from that video you saw earlier. And here are some of the actual final photos that I took from that. I'm just gonna pop them up on the screen here. Guys, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe. That way you can follow along. I'd love to help you out with anything real estate photography related. So if you wanna leave any comments down in the questions below, I'd love to help. That's all I have for now. See you in the next one.